What's up, Marvel fans? I'm Steven from the Hills Maniacs, and as you all know, the th technically third Deadpool movie slash the first Deadpool movie as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, known as Deadpool and Wolverine, will be releasing in theaters in just a couple of weeks. And as with every Marvel movie, you know, I'm sure there will be lots of cameos and things of that nature, um, and of course I'm sure there will be some post credit scenes as well. Um, but what I was thinking about you know, what could happen in this movie. You know, it's it's really multiverse heavy and stuff. The TVA popped up in the first trailer we saw for this movie. So I figured I'd take a look back at the MCU and think about all the, these, the different possible characters that could show up in this movie. So without further delay, here are five MCU characters that I think could could appear in the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. So I guess right off the bat, I'll start with one of the most obvious one, or it's actually, I've kind of grouped these two together, but that's Loki and or Mobius, you know, from the Loki series, because of course, you know, Loki is now technically the ruler of the TVA and the timelines and all that kind of stuff, as we saw in Loki season two, you know, he's sitting at the end of time holding all these timelines together and that sort of thing. So I feel like maybe there's a possibility that he could, like, make an appearance um, in this movie. Like, maybe Deadpool causes so much havoc that, like, Loki has to intervene and, like, put a stop to it. And even the TVA can't stop it. We kind of saw Deadpool killing some members of the TVA all the way back when, in the first trailer that released, you know. So at some point in the movie, I guess Deadpool will get into it with the TVA and I feel like that's something that Loki or even Mobius might need to look into and like put a stop to so either one of those two just because of the multiverse thing and I, I think it'd be an interesting to see an interaction between Loki and Deadpool because like you know how Deadpool is they're both technically anti-heroes and just to see those, um, Loki kind of be Deadpool's first MCU character that he interacts with or something I think it'd make for a pretty fun, like, cameo or a pretty fun moment, whether it, most likely in a post credit scene. And there's even the possibility, you know, maybe Loki will recruit Deadpool to be, like, part of the TVA at the end or to be part of some, like, multiversal group that he puts together to defend the multiverse sort of thing. Kind of like what the Watcher did in the What If series. But I feel like those two would just have a fun interaction together and the quips back and forth would be interesting to see. And even Mobius, too. Like, I think Mobius maybe makes more sense than Loki, just in terms of, like... Because Loki can't really leave his position where he is holding all these timelines unless he can project himself through the different timelines or something. Like, we've seen him do before. He has projected himself into certain things or, like, at least made a projection of himself. So, that is one of Loki's powers. But I think Mobius maybe is the better option here. Just at the end of the movie, like after Deadpool maybe kills the whole TVA or something, he has a run-in with Mobius. Of course, he could refer to him as Owen Wilson or uh, Lightning McQueen or whatever, just because that's how Deadpool is. You know, he um, breaks the fourth wall a lot, so he could make references to all kinds of, like, Owen Wilson movies or something. Um, that would be a funny interaction as well. And who knows, maybe Deadpool will give him his jet ski. But just to see Loki or Mobius show up would definitely cement that, yeah, Deadpool is here in the MCU. This wasn't just like a quick thing or something. Or maybe they're the reason that he gets sent to the MCU because right now all we see is him in the TVA um, being shown images of the heroes from the MCU, but he's not actually in it yet. It depends on what happens at the end of the movie, I guess. So maybe Loki or Mobius could be the ones that sort of send him to the MCU officially. Uh, the next MCU character I chose is Doctor Strange. Just because, again, you know, the whole multiverse thing. He's investigating incursions now in the MCU. And I feel like Deadpool is definitely going to cause an incursion of some kind for sure. Just by being in the MCU in the first place. Or being in the TVA. And he's going to cause some kind of havoc by the end of the movie, I'm sure. We saw him, like I said, fighting the TVA. So maybe he's going to try to escape or something. And that's going to cause an incursion. And Doctor Strange will pop up at the end of the movie or something. And again, just the way Deadpool is. I could see him interacting with Doctor Strange, calling him Sherlock or whatever. But uh, 
I think it makes sense for Doctor Strange to be the one popping up in this movie. Or I guess also in that same regard, you could consider Clea could maybe also be the one to pop up. She's the one that met Doctor Strange and mentioned the incursions and all that in the post credit scene for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So either one of those two, again, could probably... Um, show up in this movie just because of the incursions and stuff or even you could you could even argue that uh, Reed Richards that showed up in Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness could also show up in this like whoever's investigating these incursions which right now we know is just Doctor Strange and Clea um, I feel like will definitely be showing up in this movie in some some way shape or form and interacting with the, uh, Deadpool maybe even Deadpool has to like fight one of them Doctor Strange or Clea whoever to escape and maybe he just escapes and goes off onto his own and that's how he ends up in the MCU but he's all by himself he doesn't know who anybody is or anything like that um, I, I think a fight between him and Doctor Strange would be interesting because like Strange can use these powers but like he can't kill Deadpool so like what's he gonna do kind of thing I think that'd be an interesting fight between the two of them or even if they team up in some way by the end Strange recruits him like I said with Loki or whatever it all depends on what happens in this movie, but I do think that Doctor Strange should definitely show up in this movie just because of the incursions that Deadpool and Wolverine and whoever else is in that movie is probably going to cause by the end of the movie. This next one, I mean, I don't really see how this could work, and I wasn't really happy putting this one on the list, but I do feel like it could happen. And then She-Hulk, just because of what we saw, in the She-Hulk series, we know that She-Hulk can break the fourth wall in the same way that Deadpool can. She doesn't say quips and have witty banter and all that kind of stuff like Deadpool does, but she can still do that. And we did see her like br literally break out of Disney Plus in, in the She-Hulk series and wind up talking to Kevin, who's the robot that I guess controls Marvel Studios, at least in or within the world of the MCU. It was kind of this whole convoluted thing. If you didn't see She-Hulk, that was revealed in, like, the last episode. But I think Marvel probably will end up having her appear in this movie somehow. I don't know how she'll do it or whatever, but maybe that's the start of these characters that can break the fourth wall. You know, obviously we've seen Wanda Maximoff broke the fourth wall in, like, WandaVision and even just in Multiverse of Madness, like when she looked at the camera, so we know she can do it. She-Hulk's another one, and of course Deadpool, and I think the Watcher can break the fourth wall and things like that. So we're starting to see all these characters that can break the fourth wall, and I think Marvel is starting to assemble a team of these characters that can break the fourth wall or can talk to the outside world and knows that they're in a movie and that sort of thing. Um, and that, that's kind of what maybe this is setting up. I don't know what for. Maybe that's how they break the... Or maybe that's kind of how they break out of the timeline or something. Because they're beyond it. Because they can see out of it. I don't know how breaking the fourth wall works for characters like She-Hulk and Deadpool. Because they don't really have magic or the mystic arts like Doctor Strange does. Like that, He makes more sense being able to do this than She-Hulk and Deadpool. But I feel like because Marvel established that She-Hulk can break the fourth wall, that they would want her to interact with Deadpool to kind of set up this team that I mentioned that maybe they're planning on doing. Um, next up on my list is actually two more people that I paired up because they both have to do with the multiverse and they're very recent characters. That's Maria and Monica Rambeau, who the last time we saw them were both in the some sort of X-Men universe with Beast. At the We saw that at the end of The Marvels when Monica gets trapped in this other universe. And of course it just happens to be an X-Men universe. And her mother is a different character. She's still Maria Rambeau, but she's some other uh, hero in that universe so i feel like that's the start of bringing the x-men into the mcu not just deadpool and if they're going to be with the x-men now then it makes sense that one or both of them would end up finding out about deadpool or something and maybe like charles xavier from that universe sends them to track down deadpool so that they can bring him back to this that reality that he's supposed to live in or something it depends on what exact x-men universe that is i guess 
because we don't know for sure that that's like the Fox X-Men universe that we've seen because Maria Rambeau didn't exist in that. So that's a whole other X-Men universe that's probably going to be the one that they focus on in the MCU. And maybe that's where Deadpool will end up by the end of this movie. So I could see him interacting with Maria or Monica Rambeau. Or they end up going to him, like I said. But either way, since they're trapped, or since at least Monica is trapped in an X-Men-like universe... Um, adjacent to the MCU timeline, then it only makes sense that she would end up meeting Deadpool in some way or another. And finally, you know, I mentioned her earlier, um, Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch. I don't think she's dead. I think, you know, Marvel is planning on bringing her back at some point. And we do know that she can dream walk through the different um, timelines and that kind of stuff. And there is apparently a Wanda Maximoff in like every universe. So it only makes sense that she's another character that really has to do with the uh, multiverse that could run in, could have a run in with Deadpool. And you also have that connection where she, in the comics at least, is a mutant, which t which fits in with Deadpool and the X Men and all that stuff. So maybe they kind of change her origin a little bit or something, or she discovers that she is supposed to be from this universe that Deadpool came from and maybe you can have that whole interaction there as well where she's trying to figure out why she or how she's actually a mutant or something and she's related to um, Eric Lynch or Magneto you know and that kind of stuff maybe Deadpool can steer her in the right direction or maybe Deadpool tells her that or something so you kind of have that connection there as well uh, between Scarlet Witch and the X-Men and maybe that all starts here with Deadpool uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Uh, what MCU characters do you think will make a cameo or an appearance in Deadpool and Wolverine? Um, also, what other X-Men characters do you think we'll see, if any, in that movie as well? Let me know all that down in the comments section. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more Marvel-related content. Thank you for watching the video, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.